IRR, you also call it internal rate of return, where your NPV is zero. IRR is something where NPV is zero. NPV is zero means it's uh, acceptable, yeah? It's not a loss. Yeah, after doing the discounting, you are still at a profit. How do you do the IRR? IRR, to do the IRR, we need to take two NPV. How many NPV? Two NPV. One positive, one negative. Well, with that note, we have um, a few discount factor 5, 10, 15, and 20. So you can see at 5 and 10, uh, NPV is positive, but 15 and 20, NPV is negative. So we need to choose in between a uh, certain point when NPV is zero, it's not positive, not negative. So if it is zero, it is acceptable. Our return would be positive, internal rate of return. There's a graph they're showing you here. Look at this. At 5 and 10, it is positive. At 15 and 20, it is negative. So it must be in between somewhere. Um, look at this. Up to 10, 11, 12. Uh, more than 12, but less than... 14, obviously, which should be your IRR. It doesn't come in the exam. What comes is here. You need to learn a formula, an IRR formula. We call it positive percentage plus positive NPV divided by negative NPV minus negative. Uh, oh, sorry, positive NPV minus negative NPV times by negative percentage minus positive percentage. I have said so many things, isn't it? Let's go one more time. Percentage, which should be positive, plus NPV A means positive NPV monetary value. Divided by po uh, NPV A means positive NPV monetary value, minus. There will be another minus in bracket because it's a negative NPV monetary value. Times by B means negative NPV percentage, minus positive NPV percentage. Let's put that uh, idea into uh, some uh, figures. If given with three discounting factor, 9, 11, 13, so 11 is positive, 13 is negative, your NPV should be, IRR should be in between 11 and 13. How do you do it? What is the formula? A plus NPV A over NPV A minus NPV B times by B minus A. Now I said A is positive percentage, percentage at positive. This is a positive, isn't it? This is a negative. Well, so positive percentage is 11%. Negative percentage is 13%. Positive A means positive value, this 755, and negative um, NPV B, which is negative uh, value, which is 4430. Let's put it into the um, formula. 11, A, this A is 11, positive percentage, plus positive value, 755, or positive value, minus, then there's another minus, because this is a minus figure, this is a minus figure, 4430. This minus minus becomes plus, right? Multiply by negative percentage is 13% minus positive percentage. If you do it here, this minus minus became plus, and 13 minus 11 is 2, and 755 over these two added up figure gives you 5185. Seven, then uh, if you work it out, you get 1129. Let me take the calculator on screen and do this working for you. 755 divided by 5185 times by 2, you get 0.29 whatever, plus 11 if you do, you get 11.2912, that means two decimal places, 11.29 uh, is your IRR. If you get any return, 11.29 percentage or above, that means which is good, your minimum return should be 11.29, below this is going to be your loss. We have a very small uh, activity, let's do it. We have a positive NPV, percentage is 10, negative NPV minus 49, percentage is 20. So let's do it. We're going to do A plus NPV A over NPV A minus NPV B, B, B. This is multiply by B minus A. That is the formula. You need to learn it by heart. These formulas will not be given in the exam. A means positive percentage, which is 10% plus NPV positive value, which is 16.79 over positive uh, value 16.79 minus, and another minus is going to be um, for 49, and multiply by B minus A. B is 20%, uh, minus A is 10%.
let's do it on the calculator. So here we are doing it on calculator. 1679 plus 49. What do you get is 1728. Uh, 1728 into plus 10 and times by 10. Yeah, 20 minus 10 is 10. Wow, nice. Okay, taking the calculator on screen. 1679 divided by 1729 times by 10 plus 10 you get 19.71 so 19.71 percentage is our answer for higher there are some advantages and disadvantages you can read and make your own notes advantages it gives you simply percentage which is easy uh, but uh, sometimes it's difficult to calculate complex so these are the disadvantage well that's all from this video check out our next and last video on test your learning till then goodbye